But before you go back to the Knicks, you play with the Lakers. Hit an iconic shot. Mm. Mm. Big time shot. Yes, win sir. a championship. <laughs> talk, talk about talk about that. I mean, obviously playing with Kobe, God rest his soul, we all loved yes, him, man. He's an ultimate Kobe. competitor. Yes, sir. Yes, but sir. the stuff that you learned every day in practice, going against him in the locker room, prepping for games. Like, talk about, to me, two of the biggest competitors on the same team, and I was, you guys win a championship together and you make a big shot. Talk about that and what that, what that meant to you and what your career. The first practice, <laughs> I couldn't wait to get to practice. <laughs> oh, man, I know that feeling. So the first practice, you know, Coach and Phil Jackson got all these different drills. So, you know, at some point in time, me and Kobe were on different teams. Kobe's nice. So I must, uh, he's, way, he's way more skilled. So he, you know, he's scoring the rock, you know, Kobe's scoring the rock. Mm -hmm. But in terms of competition, we was clashing. Yeah. And it was beautiful. <laughs> it, got to, it got to a point where I had one outburst in practice because last year I was averaging 23. Yeah, before I was averaging 25 in the playoff against them. You know, and, and they, they, you know, I was cooking you were, them. You were in sack the year before, Houston. right? Houston. Houston. Okay. Houston. Yeah, in the playoff, I was cooking them. So <laughs> I, I was like, you know, I, I told Phil was like saying something. I'm like, you know you can't guard me, you can't guard me, you can't guard me. You know, we, I'm like, if we had Yao last year, we would have beat y'all, y'all got hurt. If we had Yao, you know, Phil was like, hey, man, hey, Ronnie, I need you to calm down. Uh, I said, nah, this ain't over till I say it's over. You know? So I'm, I'm just disrupting the whole practice. And then at some point, you know, Phil put me and Kobe on the same team. Because Kobe would push my buttons. Yeah. You know, Phil, Phil was really good at just pushing your buttons on purpose, by the way. <laughs> On purpose. So, coach, coach, so Phil would push your buttons. Oh, for sure. He he knew exactly how to get you riled up. That's a good coach. He could do it to anybody. Yeah, That's a good coach. He could do it to anybody. But at some point, he put me and Kobe on the same team, and then me and Kobe was on the, on the same team in practice. Since that's it, we, we never was on opposite teams. You probably never lost either. Well, some, yeah, well, we didn't lose a lot, but sometimes you know, sometimes you get the rookies to come in there. You've been spending every hype. Feeling be froggy hype. on a day, you had a back to back. Yeah, that's right. Be you know? be <laughs> sure. well, let's go back to that three. We didn't talk about your three. I'm telling you, I can vividly remember the three. I remember it too. <laughs> it's like, talk, I, seriously, talk about it. Because those, those, those are moments I don't care. Like, those are things people can never take away from anybody. It, it, it was crazy. So, that, 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 so it, was, it was a jab. Yep. Three, real simple. Yeah. But that was, that was a move that Chuck Person taught me. We was in a gym going over that time after time, Larry Bird, time after time, before I could shoot. You know, and then. You leave, this, you leave these teams and you just keep working on your game. And it's like, now it's like clockwork. Yes. You know, you're not really thinking about it much. Um, it, I, it, was, it was interesting because I never been to the finals before. Right? That was had, your first I, finals. That was my first and never final, never been again. Mm. So I didn't, really know, I didn't really know what it was like. So in 2008, I actually went to go watch um, the, the Celtics versus the Lakers because I needed to see how it felt. Because uh. I'm like, if I get to the finals, I don't want to lose. So I went to see the atmosphere. So I was, in, I was in the building when they lost game six. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is how it's going to be, right? So now, you know, you get, you, you get to this game. And uh, in May, I said, fish, I was talking to Fisher and, and Powell in the back of the bus. And I'm like, how come every time it's a big shot, like, y'all knock it down? <laughs> I was talking to Fisher. I'm like, I'm like how, do you, how do you do that? Mm -hmm. He's in the back of the bus. And he was like, yo, you serious? I said, yo, serious. Like, every time it's a big shot, it's going in. Like, what do you, and he, he was talking me through the emotional part. Mm. So I, I was really listening because I wanted to be, be one of those type of players, you know, and then, so that, that also had a lot to do with it. You know, I felt comfortable. Yes. And, uh, and then also in, in the game six, we was down 3-2. And then Phil came to me. He said, yo, he said, Ron, I need you to score the rock. And I was like, <laughs> really? Because I was only shooting three times a game. Yeah. That, my mind said, I'm not getting yeah. more than four shots. Yeah. Because, that's, you know, you got Kobe on the team. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you got you to deal with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you got to deal with it. And I said, word? I said, perfect. And game, <laughs> perfect. I was like, perfect. Game six, I, I came. I thought you never ask. I thought you never ask. <laughs> With Kobe on the team? But So game six, I had 18. Then game seven, I had 20. Wow. And it, it was real simple, just staying the flow. I didn't shoot well that game, but I was shooting every open yes. shot. Yes, I, it was It was rhythm shooting. I didn't understand that. I didn't understand you got to take – Man. The shot that's in rhythm, even if it's missing. Yeah. Offensive rebounds, yeah. flow of the team. So it was just like, you know, it, it, it could have missed. It went in, you know, and, and Kobe just threw it to the side. And that's, but, that's. But Ryan, you said that, like, you said it was, a, it was a simple shot, but nothing simple time to score in NBA Finals, man. And yeah. you didn't shoot well that game. That's the thing. When you yeah, don't shoot well and, and you, get one, of the, you get, the, get one of the game, you get a game winning shot from one of the greatest players in the game. Some people don't want that moment. Nope. Some people don't want that moment, and they might hesitate, wait long, wait wrong, oh, or they yeah, might get yeah. off it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, I think that you should give yourself more credit. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I know it was. I know you, 
to us, that's routine and all that. But man, a lot of times guys don't want that moment yeah, in that, the finals. Hey, that NBA finals juice is different juice than anything yeah, you ever boy. have. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah, boy. I thought we could have went more, but the dynamics was wild. Yeah, but, but I definitely wanted that so moment. You said the dynamics were wild. Talk to me about that. What do you mean? Well, you know, I think because um, after Kobe got five, he wanted number six. I, you, saw, you saw it in his eyes. You know what I'm saying? He wanted number six. And um, so it, it was games where we, we was up after that finals and the playoffs up, you know, seven points, mm. you know, up, up 10 points with a minute left. And in, instead of like just letting it happen naturally, get to the finals, yeah. I think Kobe wanted it too much. Mm -hmm. And then the lead was just, we lose game one. We, we up seven, we lose game one. Same thing in game two. We, we up whatever, damn, we lose game two. Yeah. Now we in Dallas down 0-2, we get swept. Mm -hmm. Next year we play against OKC, we up. You know, and I think Kobe, he really wanted number six. And I, I know he, if he would have got number six, we're talking about, all right, mm -hmm. it's, it's a tie for the yeah. GOAT. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, yeah. he really, he, I think he wanted it a little too much. Who's your GOAT then? Because uh, you just brought it up, who's your GOAT? <laughs> I, I'm 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 gonna go with Mike, honestly. You know what I'm saying? I think Mike is incredible, yeah. Yeah. You know, Mike is incredible. Will Chamberlain's incredible. People could say what they want, but Yeah. So Will so Chamberlain Mike so Mike then Kobe in your opinion, basically you said that Mike Kobe? I'm going Will second. Will second. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, I, I I'm going I think when LeBron career's over, I think when you crunch the numbers. Yeah. I think when you crunch all the numbers. Is going to read LeBron number one. Yeah, he's going he gonna to be top five. In, I, I said oh, this all the time. Sure. He's going to be top right. five in every right. major statistical category, right. yeah. which is right. crazy to me. You know, but it's longevity is a part of it, right? And he's been successful. and he's, he's, he's did what he had to do. Go, but it, he hard. did what he had to do. Will Chamberlain had numbers. He played 13 seasons. Yeah. Mike got six. Mike did what he had no to doubt. do. No doubt. No, no, LeBron did what he had to do. That's an impossible conversation. Yeah, that's barbershop you, talk. You sit, you, yeah, you sit here and say talk. this is about MJ. I'm like, damn, you're right. To me, MJ was my favorite player growing up. I mean, it's period. Point blank. And the only reason why MJ is my GOAT is because, we, like he said, we watched him growing up. Me and, I'm older than Brian. I, he can't be my GOAT. <laughs> <laughs> I'm older than this man. He can't be my GOAT. I'm a little biased towards Brian. I love Brian. I always give. When Brian won his first title, man, I, I actually was on Instagram. I posted how happy I was mm -hmm. because the pressure he had as a 17 year old. No, he was expecting this 17 year old to knock down game winning shots. Mm -hmm. And it was just killing him. And, and he overcame it. But he did give me 25 his first game ever playing against me. In sack. And that still eats at me to this day. <laughs> I mean, as a competitor. That's something that I can't <laughs> yeah. live with. Listen, as a competitor, we, 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 we don't get over that. We don't get over that. I mean, yeah. I remember, like I said, like you said, that you, you lost to Dallas. And, you know, the first thing I'm thinking about is Dirk and Whiskey and how he's playing and, and the games that I've played against him and how he's played against me. And I'm thinking about those matchups and I'm getting playing those matchups in my head already getting ready to go into the finals. The next year when y'all have OKC and then y'all lose to OKC, I think I felt what we were saying is whoever beat the Lakers, that's probably who we got who we got to deal with in the finals. So when we watching these guys and we worried about these matchups, like you playing those match and when somebody get the best of you, I, st I lose sleep at night. I, I literally lose sleep at night when somebody got the best of me, Killer. I'm telling you, it's crazy. I could mess up one play or one situation yeah. that keeps me up at night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. We talk about Kobe. It's another fan question. All right. Favorite thing about playing with Kobe? My favorite thing about playing with Kobe is seeing, seeing him prepare. You know, just, <clears throat> you know, he'll be in the gym first. I was normally in the gym last. I was always the last one to leave. I always watch people who are in the gym. And I'm like, OK, he ain't leaving yet? All right. <laughs> I, mean, I make sure nobody in the gym. <laughs> Now, <laughs> it's all yeah, clear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Kobe was first putting a ton of work early, early. Summertime, he's, he's there at 5.30 in the summertime. I had to go test that out because I would go out. I would go to the gym after the club. So I'm in there like 2 a.m. You know, I'm in the gym, sweating out the alcohol, you know. <laughs> but I'm in the gym. You know, I'm, I'm for sure in the gym. You know, I, Legend. For sure. But he was in there at 5.30. One day I went in at 8, and he was getting in his car. Yo, Matt, what up? I'm out. He's in red, his red Range Rover. I'm like, where you going? You I'm, I'm done. So next day I got there at five. I was waiting for him to come. I wanted to see. I wanted. To, I wanted to see it. I only saw it once. He was working. You know, he was working. And then to see him in Boston, Game Five, get 25 straight points. <sighs> at one point, I was just watching him, and I'm like, I'm watching. I'm like, this is incredible. <laughs> We're trying to win a championship, but I'm like, <laughs> you know, for a couple possessions, I'm like, yo, this, this dude is incredible. And I had to wake up. I got. I, got, I had to wake up. But for a couple possessions, I just was watching him. Like, yo, this is. He's like, this is Jesus. Like, 
Who gets 25 straight points? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Our points. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Points. Yeah, nobody that's crazy. else score. That's, that's crazy. That's, that's crazy. That's insane. LeBron did that. Yeah. In, uh, in Detroit. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's crazy. That's funny because uh, that Kobe stuff you're talking about, I, I was fortunate to play on the USA basketball team in 06 that went to Vegas. And I always prided myself on being there early because I didn't have the physical tools a lot of people had, so I had to outwork people. Mm -hmm. and, and for me to make shots and moments that we were talking about, I had to prepare, prepare myself for those moments. And, and I always prepared myself for it. Like, we'd have practice at 11 or 10 or whatever it is, and I'd show up an hour and a half, two hours early. Kobe's in a dripping sweat by the time I get there. Mm. I was the same way you were. I was like, yo, hold up. I talk on the side. What time he get here? I got to come see this. You know what I mean? Because I learned that whole thing from Reggie. Reggie Miller, mm, mm. my first year in the league, I come into Indiana, one of the assistant coaches with me says, see, that's what you need to do. Reggie was just getting done, second bus, our first bus is coming in, he's already done. Already done. So I started my routine based on what Reggie did. You was getting there early? So I started, now I started taking back, you know, no Ubers back in our old days, you know what I mean? So I was taking cabs early, but that was the thing I remember about Kobe. Obviously I've learned it through Reggie here, but Kobe, the same thing, like he was, he was just a workhorse to me, man. Like, yeah. I, and I, that's, to me, that's the thing that I remember most about Kobe. For sure. Yeah, and at the end of his career, you know, me and Kobe never went out to lunch or dinner. Me and Jermaine went out to lunch for the first time in 14 years in 2018. And we would, and, wow. and it was, he would always reach wow. out. Jermaine's a good dude. That's what that was my fault, by the way. Yeah. Um, but then uh, Jermaine will always say, yo, Matt, you all right? Because after I got out of practice, I'm so emotional. I don't want to talk to nobody. Yeah. Jermaine knows something wrong. Yo, 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 Ron, let's go get some lunch. That's I'm good. like, nah, I'm good, I'm good, but I'm really not. Yeah. <laughs> So we, we sitting down in Oakland, and we was like, man, don't you, this is our first time ever having lunch in 14 years. Wow. We clicked on the court. I could execute. I could, I could execute with the best of them, so I don't you know, need to be your friend to execute. <laughs> you know? But it was like, wow, in 14 years, my first time having lunch. And then Kobe's last year, we, we had dinner. You see Kobe wow. smiling. He knew his wow. career was over, and I'd never seen that side of him. Wow. He's playing. He's he joking with the rookies. Kobe never joked with no rookie. It was really good to see that side of him. Yes. You know, ha have some shots good. and have a good time. I'm, I'm glad I got a chance to experience that with him. That's dope. That's dope. <laughs>